Hello again, it's me, Mrs. TK, with another message for you from God's Word, the Bible. Also with me is my buddy, <clears throat> Howie Hartstring. He said he had something exciting to tell us, so I told him he should go first. So, uh, Howie, uh, what is it you wanted to talk to us about? Me, me, me. You, you, you. Uh, that seems rather selfish. No, no, me, me, me. <laughs> Mrs. TK, I'm trying to warm up here. Warm up? Oh, are you cold? Did you take a cold bath today? I hope you didn't get your cast wet. No, 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 no. You just don't get it. <sighs> Maybe I should check his heart. Sometimes I can figure out what's going on if I check the heart of our buddy Howie Heartstring. <laughs> Oh, there's something in there. Yeah, there is. It's a, uh, hmm, sheet music? Yup, yup. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for holding that for me, Howie. I want to check it out. It's a, oh, it's a song. I think I know this song. It's uh Jesus Loves Me. Yeah, the song Jesus Loves Me. Have you been working on learning this song? Yes, and I have worked really hard. You see, I have to warm up my vocal cords first. Me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, warm-ups are a good idea. Yeah, and then and I've been practicing the song so I can do it now perfectly. Perfectly? Mm-hmm. With no mistakes, no missed notes. No wrong words? Mm-hmm. I'll prove it. Well, I'd like that because that's really hard to do, to do something perfectly. Yeah, well, just listen to this. <clears throat> Jesus loves me, this I show. For the Bible tells me no. Little ones to him be strong. They are weak, but he is wrong. Wait, that, that can't be right. No, <laughs> that's, that's not right. <laughs> Jesus is never wrong. D did I get a word wrong? I'm afraid you got more than one word wrong. And maybe a couple of notes, too. Oh, I want to do it perfect. Well, it just means you might have to practice a little more, that's all. I mean, it's it's hard for us to do things perfectly. Sure. Oh, but I've practiced and practiced and practiced, so it would be perfect. Hmm. Well, at least what you're singing about is perfect. Hmm? You, you mean Jesus? Of course. You see, Jesus loves us with a perfect love. Our God loves us more than anybody. When you sing about Jesus loves me, this I know, believe me, Jesus does do that. And he does it absolutely perfectly. Hmm. Well, no mistakes at all for him, huh? No mistakes. I mean, he knows everything about us. And he loves us anyway, with all with all our flaws. Even my fractured paw. Yep. He even knows about your fractured paw. And he loves you even if you're not perfect. Hmm. Well, that's pretty cool, but I wish I could sing about him perfectly. Hmm. Well, Howie, I haven't heard you do the chorus yet. The chorus? You know, the part that goes, yes, Jesus loves me. I bet the kids know it. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll do that part. Uh, uh. <clears throat> yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Well, that was pretty good. You have been practicing. Yeah, yeah, I guess I, I could go practice some more. I mean, 
I, I really want to be able to do a good job for Jesus. Hmm. Well, I would recommend that. I want to tell the kids about some things, so uh, why don't you say goodbye now? Bye, guys. <laughs> goodbye, Howie. Oh, don't forget your sheet music. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> wow. You know, I think Howie has a good singing voice. But, you know, he does need to practice. <laughs> they say that practice makes perfect. But the truth is, we human beings have a hard time doing things perfectly. Fortunately for us, we serve a God whose love for us is perfect. He loves us with no misunderstandings. He loves us with no selfishness. He loves us with no limitations. We don't even have to behave a certain way in order to get him to love us. God loves us perfectly no matter how we think or how we act. And his love for us will last. Hey, let me show you with, with this thing right here, okay? Take a look at this. <clears throat> numbers in a pattern. Two, four, six, eight. Anybody know what the next number would be? And the one after that? What about the one after that? Yeah, it's a pattern of counting by twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, and so on. But my question for you is, how long will this pattern go on? The answer is forever. There is no end to this pattern because there's no end to numbers. If we kept counting every minute of every day for the rest of our lives, we would still never come to the end of this pattern because numbers go on forever. That's like God's perfect love for us. It will go on forever and never run out. Huh. Oh, hey, speaking of numbers, did you know that there are nearly 8 billion people in the world and that God loves all of them with that perfect love? It's amazing, really. Watch this video and you'll see what I mean. Have you ever wondered about all the people in the world? Think about it. There are billions and billions of people. And each person is like a snowflake. There aren't any two people who are exactly alike. Sure, there are identical twins, but even twins who look the same are different in some ways. God created people. And by looking at all the different kinds of people in the world, we can see that God is really, really creative. God loves the people He created. He loves people who are tall and people who are short, people who are dark and people who are light, people who are quiet and people who are quirky. God loves you more than anyone else in the world loves you. And God loves every single person in the world that much. Isn't that amazing? Think about how much love God must have to be able to love billions and billions of people so much. The Bible tells us that God loved people so much that He sent His one and only Son to die for us and take the punishment for our sins. When we believe in Jesus, God forgives our sin, gives us eternal life, and adopts us as His own children. That means that God becomes our Father, and He's the best Father there ever was. God wants all people to believe in Him, love Him, and follow Him. And that's why God sends His servants out into the world to tell others about Him. Missionaries get sent out from churches all over the world to tell other people about God's amazing love 
and His plan to save people from their sin. Let's take some time to think about the people we see every day and how much God loves them. As you watch the following pictures, let them remind you of people you see each day. Pray for them. Ask God to send people to tell them how much He loves them. You can pray every day to ask God to help people in your own hometown and all over the world to know how much God loves them. And you can even tell them yourself. Try it out. It's fun. Wow. All those people in the world, all loved completely by our perfect God. We're all different, but... He sees inside each one of us and knows exactly what we're like because nothing is hidden from him. And he loves us. He doesn't love us because of what we are or what we try to be. He loves us perfectly because of who he is. God never changes. He'll always love us perfectly no matter what we think or how we act. If only we humans could love each other that way. Who boy. Our Bible account for today talks about that. To tell it though, I'm gonna need some crayons and some coloring sheets. I'll set it up right here. Take a look. Remember Jacob that you learned about last week? The man in the Bible who had 12 sons? Well, here they are. His 12 sons. <laughs> God loved Jacob, the dad, very much. These crayons will be like God's love. I mean, take a look at them. It's a brand new box. <gasps> Aren't they perfect? Ooh, perfectly sharp. Not a nick or a chip. None of the paper torn. I just love a brand new box of crayons, don't you? Well, God's love is like these perfect crayons. Nothing wrong with it. Absolutely pristine. Ooh. But our story. One of Jacob's sons was named Joseph. Here he is. He was the next to youngest of the 12 boys. He was helping his brothers watch the sheep in the fields one day. And when he came home, he tattled on his brothers by telling his father bad things about them. I will quickly color two of the brothers um, to uh, indicate the two brothers that he tattled on. Uh, let's see, he tattled on this one. And um, let me get in a couple other colors. How about this one over here? He tattled on this one. There we go. Ooh, that's messy. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll have to be careful. Uh, oh, J Jacob, the dad, loved all of his sons. But he loved Joseph more than the other ones. He gave Joseph a beautiful coat, but he didn't give one to any of the other boys. They didn't get a special present. That made the other brothers angry. I will quickly color two more of the people in our picture. 
so that that will represent uh, the brothers who got really, really angry about it. Okay, you got angry. And um, how about this one? This one got really, really angry. Sorry. Um, there we go. Like that. Um, okay. Uh, and then what happened? Oh, Joseph's brothers, by the way, they never did or said anything nice to, jo to Joseph. They never said anything nice to him or about him. That's what the Bible tells us. So I'm going to color in two more brothers uh, to represent all the mean things they had to say. Okay, this one said some mean things. And I think this one here, he said some really mean things. Right like that. This color, oh, forgot his ears. There we go. Ears, ears, ears. There we go. Oh, I'm starting to lose some of that. There we go. Now I can get it better. Uh, one night, Joseph had a dream. He told his brothers all about it. He told them that in his dream, they were all tying wheat into bundles. And he said that his own bundle stood up straight in the field, and his brother's bundles all bowed down like they were worshiping his bundle of wheat. Well, the brothers, they became even angrier when they heard about that dream. They thought he was bragging and telling them that he was better than them and that they should bow down to him. They were so angry. I think I need to use red for that. Uh, red and how about this color here? We'll do this orange. Red and orange to show how angry they were. I'll color two brothers show how really angry they were. They were super mad about that. Uh, this one, and, oh, this one, this one got really, really angry. Ooh, his face is red. He really is angry. There we go. Okay, uh, so what next? Oh, guess what? Another dream. Joseph had another dream. He told his brothers that he dreamed that the sun and the moon and the 11 stars bowed down to him. <gasps> the brothers were even, even more angry. I think we have to go back to red because they were super angry about that. Oh my goodness, so mad. Angry, angry, angry. This one's mad too. Color him in really good. Um, hold it, I need a little bit more. That's better, now I can get it. Oh yeah, woo. Joseph told his father, Jacob, about his dream about the sun and the moon and the 11 stars, Jacob wondered what Joseph's dream was really about. Hmm, I will quickly color the last two people in our picture. Let's see, we'll use this one and this one. We'll color in him and color in little brother. Right there, okay, good. So, huh, you have probably been paying attention to how the picture looks, but did you happen to notice how my crayons look? Oh my goodness, my brand new perfect crayons. Look at them now. Ooh, this is so sad. Look at that. Hmm. Well, there's no way that we can use crayons without messing them up. And in the same way, we people can't love others without messing things up. All of us make mistakes when we try to love others. We're sometimes unkind. We tattle. We treat some people better than we treat other people. We hurt people's feelings, and we get even when we get mad. Joseph and his father and his brothers made these mistakes in the way they treated one another. We all make mistakes of some kinds. Only God can love others with a love that is perfect. And aren't we glad that he does. Hey, thanks for listening to my messy Bible account. Would you pray with me? Fold your hands and think these words in your heart as I say them. Heavenly Father, 
Thank you for loving us with a perfect love. We know that we can't love each other perfectly. Like Jacob and his sons, we always seem to mess things up. Help us do a better job of showing love to our families and to our world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's all I have. I'll see you next time. Bye.